It's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm at Rosebank Mall with D. Diga. Diga. So, what do you do again? I'm a radio DJ, and I'm also a club DJ. So basically, you know what how radio goes. So I do a slot on radio on the City FM, Tuesdays to Fridays, 3 a.m. to 5:30 a.m. What I do is mostly a music show. But I also do a bit of agriculture feature in there. And on Sundays, I do a jazz show, midday to three. So that's what radio is about. And then clubbing, I don't do house. I don't do kwaito. I do hip hop. I do funk. I do lounge. I do R&B. That's what I do. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, so what skills do you need? Pardon? Skills? Shoo, wow. Um, I would say everything is incorporated in what I do, basically. I just, I make sure that whatever I come across, I do the best of it. So I would say everything is incorporated in that. What school skills do you need, like reading or writing? Um, I can't write. Because <laughs> um, I believe that with writing, you have to have some kind of talent and creativity which are some of the things that you must hone. And I, I, I wouldn't say I have that kind of writing skills, really. It can be that bad. For you, because maybe you have it in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. Well. Anything you want to ask about the station? Yeah, what is this? Oh, that's what it's called, La City FM. Um, so yeah, where is the station based? The offices are in Bloemfontein, which is about 400 k's from Johannesburg, and it's in the Free State. That's where Bloemfontein is. And the radio station basically is a public broadcaster where we have to go down to... Some of the people can't even read and write. Some people do not understand English at all. So we broadcast in Sesotho, which is my mother tongue. That, that's how it works. And we, we talk about any and everything, mostly stuff that affects people in communities, stuff that has to do with social ills, anything regarding employment and all of that. We, we work on a mandate, basically. We have to follow what's been set up for us. You can't just go haywire and do anything that you want. So basically, that's what we talk about, stuff that affects the people. Like, we're going into elections next year, so we have to start teaching them about registering and how to vote and not sharing your vote with anyone, such things. You teach them basically on everything that they come across on a daily basis. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, and what would you give somebody who wanted to be on a radio show? Or not? You mean being interviewed or being, being a on one, being a presenter? To be a presenter. I would say, first of all, it's very important. It's, it's imperative to have passion. You must be passionate and you must be willing to work hard. A radio job to most people looks like it's glamorous. Well, maybe it is. It's not just about getting a topic and going on air, but you have to be fully prepared. You have to know what you're going to be talking about. You must be. You must research your stuff very well. You must know what you're talking about. You must be well read. You must present yourself with authority. You can't just go there and sound like you don't know what you're talking about. You mustn't sound scared, but it's always important. Much as even if you know what you're doing, you must always have butterflies in you. You must always be on your toes to know that I know what I'm doing. Much as I do know what I'm doing, I must be on my toes, I must know what I'm doing. I must, I must be well researched. I must read all of that stuff. You, you must be relevant all the time. You must know what's current. That's what, that's what being on radio is about. So you must be well prepared. Basically, yeah, like I've already said. Cool. Well, that was um, Da Diga and Google Media Girl.